Hey, Zach, I think spider sense is something you can train. Um, haven't you lost your mind? I mean, no, I don't think so. Um, well, double check that because spider sense is basically magic. I mean, fair, but didn't you say that exact same thing about chi blocking? Okay, fair point. But for real, I really do think it's possible. Let me explain. Guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avid is in a superhero hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja Channel. And here's the thing: I've always wanted to have superpowers. I mean, the whole reason I started martial arts is because I wanted to be a Power Ranger. So, I mean, you really shouldn't be all that surprised. And as a kid in the '90s, you know the classic Spider-Man cartoon made a huge impression on my young, moldable mind. I mean, even the intro alone is killer. Spider-Man has a ton of awesome powers, sticking to walls, super strength, and in some cases, even spinning webs, depending on, you know, the version we're using. But his best power, without a doubt, is his spider sense. I mean, who hasn't wanted spider sense at one point or another? But what exactly is spider sense? It's a psychological awareness of his surroundings, basically allowing him to detect danger before it happens and allow him to dodge or react to it in whatever way he needs to. So if we were to mimic it, there would be some goals we would have to achieve. Number one, we have to be fast enough to evade incoming attacks. Number two, we need to be able to see the danger coming before it actually is in effect. Number three, we need to be hyper aware of our body and limbs. Number four, we need to have the stamina to be able to do it more than just one single time. And lastly, number five, we need to have the physical ability and agility to dodge whatever that attack is. So let's start with the easy one, stamina. I suggest specking into parkour. For those that don't know, parkour is an athletic training discipline where people try to get from one point to another in the most fluid way possible. The roots of this actually comes from military obstacle course training. Practitioners are able to run, climb, jump, vault, and roll, and most in theme, swing to whatever they want to go to. And adding in a little bit of ballet training is a great option to enhance your flexibility on top of your parkour. Skills. Being aware of your body is also incredibly important because if you are going to dodge something coming towards you, you need to be able to know where you are first to begin with. And just so everyone's on the same page, when I say body awareness, I mean being able to know where your body is without actually looking at what you're doing. For example, being able to close your eyes and touch your fingers together. This is one of the most famous examples of spatial body awareness, being able to tell where you are and where your body parts are in relation to each other. But you also need to be able to tell where they are in relation to other things around you. That second part is where it gets kind of hard. For example, try this wherever you are. Try closing your eyes and hitting that subscribe button. Legend has it only a few people can actually do it. <laughs> Come on, you know that was pretty smooth. But there are many different meditation methods that you can train your body awareness but I really don't think it's super necessary to focus so much on it, simply because you will get that ability innately by training the other areas, you know, later on in this list. Speaking of those other areas, we need to be fast enough to evade incoming attacks and be able to see them coming. This is where martial arts comes in. I mean, come on, did you really think this was gonna be a video without martial arts as part of it? You should know me better than that. As far as the ability to block goes, you can choose pretty much any martial arts that you want. Shaolin Kung Fu, Shotokan Karate, Taekwondo, any striking art will do just fine. Just pick whatever suits your preferred style, but if you're wanting to go with the aesthetic that fits Spider-Man a little bit better, I suggest going with either Capoeira, Kung Fu, and maybe even Krav Maga. And if you really, really want to push it, spec into Lucha Libre Wrestling. I know, I know, that's a big video for another time when I get to Miles Morales' fighting style. Don't worry, it's on the way. Drop a like on this video though if you want to come fast. Phrasing! But for the part that focuses on our spider sins, we actually want to focus on point sparring. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I know. It seems kind of out there considering that point sparring is considered quote unquote not real fighting, but that's not the point. <laughs> See what I did there? Not the point. 
Point Pro is known for two main things. The first being their speed. Quickly blitzing or blocking to stay safe and secure the point in whatever, you know, match they're in. Personally, I would avoid doing Olympic style fighting simply because you want to be doing this with your hands and legs, not just your legs. But honestly, that's just up to your preferred style. And in order to get good at point fighting, it will require you to have really fast reflexes to incoming dangers. And the second aspect it will give you is it will make you really good at spotting people's tells. A tell is simply someone foreshadowing something they are going to do before they actually do it. For example, a common tell for a punch is someone rearing their arm back. Or maybe they look at your ribs before they throw a kick to your ribs. Usually the better a person trains, the less obvious their tells are, but they are often still there in some way or another. And just like the reaction time, the more you get good in point sparring, the better you will be at seeing someone else's tells. And to be quite frank with you, if you can predict the tells of people professionally trained, not to show them, you can absolutely see the tells of people who don't know what they're doing. And I can attest to this myself. People usually don't even realize they have a tell if they aren't trained. Honestly, there may be many of you watching this video that didn't even know what a tell was. And so that just even further proves my point. Let me know in the comments if you actually do know what a tell is or not before watching this video. But at the end of all that training, you should be able to mimic the spider sense in a fight or a dangerous situation. Now, is it perfect? No, absolutely not. I am not a miracle worker, but who really cares? This means you can get pretty close to having a spider sense. And I'm not even the first person to point this out. I mean, Muhammad Ali is famous for how he was able to dodge punches against professional boxers. So just imagine what he would do to some punk on the street. But tell me, what other superpowers would you like me to figure out how to unlock in real life? Let me know down in the comments what you think and make sure to drop a like so I know you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you're wanting to help out the channel and you get special perks and, and events and uh, a special course that I'll be releasing very soon. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, links are always down in the description. I mean, this is YouTube, you know where the links are. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about breaking down your double fighting style, or this other one about chi blocking. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.